a new era of economic transformation. I am Afumea here, welcoming you to News Analytica. Ethiopia is undergoing a significant economic transformation, shifting towards a market-based exchange rate system and securing a substantial loan from the International Monetary Fund. Prime Minister Abiy's economic overhaul aims to unlock new avenues for growth and investment, propelling Ethiopia towards greater global competitiveness. The commitment to modernizing Ethiopia and enhancing the living standards of the people is evident in the sweeping nature of these reforms. The shift towards a more market-oriented economy is a necessary and a positive step, marking a refreshing departure from past policies that have hindered progress. This strategic move is aimed at stabilizing the economy, reducing inflation, and promoting sustainable growth. In this segment, we delve into the specifics of this crucial change, drawing comparisons between Ethiopia's approach and the experience of Kenya and Nigeria. The adoption of a market-based exchange rate system by Ethiopia signifies a pivotal moment in its economic evolution. This policy adjustment involves a notable devaluation of the Ethiopian bir with the goal of enhancing export competitiveness and attracting foreign investments. The key objectives of this reform are to stabilize Ethiopia's economy, curb inflation, and establish a foundation for sustainable growth. Through the transition to a market-based exchange rate, Ethiopia seeks to align its currency with market principles, thereby enhancing its global competitiveness. Nevertheless, this shift presents significant challenges, including potential inflationary pressures and an increase in the cost of living. The devaluation of the bir is anticipated to make Ethiopian products more affordable for international buyers, potentially boosting export earnings and bolstering economic development. However, the immediate repercussion of this adjustment also involved a sharp rise in the prices of imported goods, which could lead to higher inflation and a decline in living standards for many Ethiopians. To gain a deeper insight into the potential ramifications of these reforms, we can examine the experiences of neighboring countries like Kenya and Nigeria, both of which have confronted similar economic hurdles. For instance, Kenya has received multiple IMF loans to help manage the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, support economic reforms, and ensure debt sustainability. Kenya's experience emphasizes the need to strike a balance between physical consolidation and social stability. Although the IMF loan was crucial for financial support, the austerity measures triggered significant public unrest. Nigeria serves as another valuable case study. In response to falling oil prices and depleting foreign reserves, Nigeria has devalued its currency multiple times over the past decade. The recent devaluation resulted in a notable inflation surge, diminishing the purchasing power of the average Nigerian and escalating living costs. The experience of Nigeria highlights the significance of implementing complementary policies to elevate the negative impacts of currency devaluation. For Ethiopia, this could involve enhancing agricultural production for food security, improving supply chain efficiency, and fortifying social safety needs to shield vulnerable populations from immediate inflation effects. If managed prudently, Ethiopia stands to gain substantial benefits from these reforms. A market-based exchange rate can enhance export competitiveness, attract foreign investment, and reduce external imbalances. Successful implementation of a market-driven strategy could pave the way for a dynamic period of economic growth and innovation in Ethiopia. The reform aims to strengthen Ethiopia's financial system, boosting its resilience against economic shocks and crises. These chains are expected to attract foreign direct investment, bringing in both capital and expertise. However, challenges such as managing inflation, ensuring debt sustainability, and maintaining social and political stability must be addressed. To protect vulnerable populations, Ethiopia needs to expand social safety needs and targeted support programs. Inclusive growth strategies that create jobs and improve livelihoods are crucial for social stability and public support. Drawing on the experiences of Kenya and Nigeria, Ethiopia can implement policies that promote sustainable and inclusive growth. Effective communication, Strong institutions and a focus on social protection are essential to ensure that these reforms lead to a tangible improvement in the lives of Ethiopian citizens. That is it for today's news analysis. Thank you very much for watching and make sure you join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica.